What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the fifth and final season of Fuller House. Now, this is actually uh, part two of season five because you guys remember uh, part one of season five ended off with a uh, cliffhanger uh, and it premiered in December. Uh, with it ended up with um, them getting ready for a triple wedding because, of course, Stephanie ended up getting engaged to uh, to Kimmy's brother, uh, Jimmy. Literally, like. You know, a year uh, prior to uh, that um, season, then in uh, you know the final, then in season five you had uh, DJ getting engaged to uh, Steve while um, while you know Kimmy ended up getting engaged to uh, Fernando, which which the engagement scene uh, featured like a uh, music uh, like a dance monologue, which I love that choreography and that. Anywho, so. So with the uh, final season, uh, features, uh, you know, them getting ready for a wedding, and and it was pretty cool to see, uh, you know, the original cast members, like uh, Bob Saget, uh, coming back as Danny Terror, uh, John Stamos back as Uncle Chesty was always cool to watch, of course you had uh, Dave Kuller, uh coming back as uh, Joey, and, and before you guys wonder, no, Lori Loughlin is not in the season, for obvious <laughs> For real obvious reasons, why we all know why Lori Lock was not in uh, the finale. And once again, the Elsa twins was too hard headed to decide to return for uh for the finale. So yeah, oh boy. you know I've, I've always liked the Elsa twins when they were uh you know Michelle Tanner and all, but why on earth don't they actually even care about returning anymore? I don't know, but I mean I, I would have literally gotten uh, Elizabeth Olsen, you know, their nurse as Michelle Tanner, but. But of course, she's a little too busy with the uh, Marvel film, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I thought the uh, finale was pretty decent. You know, after the, uh, you know, the wedding finale, uh, which is actually the last uh, episode, and the uh, actual series finale episode, it literally makes me <laughs> literally want more. But they ended that season, that uh, episode off with a major cliffhanger. I'm not going to give any away, but there was a major cliffhanger uh, during that episode during that uh, episode. And I really quite like some of the other uh, few episodes. There's some pretty cool cameos, which I'm not going to give away, but the cameos was pretty cool. There are also some really cool, uh, you know, Full House Easter eggs that was, you know, that was featured this season. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Hey, sorry about that, guys. Uh... Hey, anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, they really did uh, end it off pretty sub. Like I, you know, like I said, it does make me really want more. But uh, and maybe you know, in uh, twenty more years, they'll you know revisit uh, Fuller House once again. But anyway, and I also thought uh, the one who plays uh, DJ's uh, kids on the show, uh, you know, the characters, of course. Uh, you know, Max, uh, Jackson were pretty cool. Uh, the one who plays uh, um, Kimmy's uh, door, uh, Ramona, was pretty good. You got a few other uh, cool cameos, like cool surprise cameos that popped up. And, yeah, I thought, I thought they were all pretty cool. And, yeah, this, you know, it's a shame that, like, I still hope, like, I mean, I still wish, uh, you know, uh, Netflix goes ahead <clears throat> and just uh, renews it for a sixth season, but hey, all good things must come to an end, and I don't know the uh, ending, like how they ended it off, you know, well, it does make me want more, I thought they really ended it off really perfectly, and yeah, if you guys, if you guys, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys have not really seen uh, the final season, I'll say, Go give it a go. It's pretty decent. I know the cool thing is you really hate on the show because lots of people are not really are not really fond of the show for some reason. But uh, that side, I still thought it was it was an excellent uh, finale, and you know, lots of uh, it does have lots of uh, nostalgia factors to it. And if you're a fan of Full House, and actually even even if you're not that big of a fan of Full House, I think you'll get kicked out of the finale. So. Anyway, uh, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to check out the uh, 
series finale of Fuller House. So, what's your thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you a fan of both uh, Full or Fuller House in general? And would you actually be down to check out season 6 or another reunion in whether it's maybe 10 years, 20 years? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Team Moose, signing off.